All right, everyone, today we're going to talk about ankles. One of the things that I see a lot of times when people go to mobilize their ankles with either like a banded distraction or using a kettlebell and kind of driving into a loaded stretch position is that they don't necessarily think about the points of contact that we need to have on the foot to make sure that we're getting good carryover from the mobilization into whatever we're going to be doing, whether it's squatting, running, just having better range of motion uh, that's usable that we have active control over. So we need to make sure that we have first toe kind of underneath the big toe knuckle, fifth toe, and contact through the heel in any direction. So whether we are kind of mobilizing the ankle to the lateral side or to the medial side, we need to make sure that all those points of contact stay firmly rooted to the floor. Because if I don't have all three points of contact, I'm losing information that my body takes in from the contact with the foot on the ground. And that sends signals to my body as to what it needs to do to help me do whatever I'm asking, whether again, it's a run, squat, uh, a deadlift, single leg balance, bilateral balance, what have you. So just to get better carryover through your mobilizations, make sure you have all three points of contact grounded into the floor. So today, we're just gonna kind of show what I like to do for ankle mobilizations. The first one is just gonna be this straight dorsiflexion. So I'm driving the knee right over the big toe, or right between the, the third toe and the, the big toe, just straight forward. And I'm just gonna hold this position for a couple of minutes. If you want to take it into a loaded stretch, like I mentioned before, take a kettlebell and you'll just get a little bit more load pushing into that specific range of motion. You can do this to the outside, the lateral side, this to the medial side. But again, the biggest thing is to make sure that you have all three points of contact uh, firmly into the floor when you're doing this. Okay, another mobilization that I really like is using the side of the kettlebell or the handle of the kettlebell as a way to get some specific angles of force into parts of the ankle, specifically the lateral and medial ankle capsules. So this would be getting my big toe knuckle and kind of the inside back inside arch of my foot onto this kettlebell. And then I'm just gonna kind of drive into a position that helps me feel a stretch along this outside part of the ankle. Okay, so I can get my whole heel up there if I need to. If I need to, I can stand up, kind of crouch down, get a little bit more stretch into that outside part of the ankle capsule. The stretch is going to come from the knee coming to the inside because that's putting all of this tissue from the outside part of the calf all the way down into the, the outside part of the ankle on a stretch. And that's what we're looking for for now. Okay, you can also do this to the inside where set the outside fifth toe and the outside part of the heel. And then again, pushing to the inside. So it's right above pushing down and I'm getting a stretch through this medial side of the ankle now. Okay. The last uh, sort of active or uh, you could even call it an exercise would be just walking on the outside part of my foot. So I can move forward, I can move back, but I'm trying to keep my big toes as high as I can and I'm trying to stay on the outside most part of my foot. I can also go to the inside, again trying to keep the big toes up and the outside part of the foot off the floor, forward and back. And that's just going to create more of a loaded type of stretch, um, but it's also you taking up that active range of motion space, um, and hopefully this translates well over into your running, your squatting, and anything else that you need.